judgments in the scripture are called judgments. So this is the next title. A judgment is the final consideration and determination of a court of competent jurisdiction upon the matter submitted to it. Okay, a judgment is something a court determines in whatever matter that's brought before them. There's five statutes under judgment, at least five that I counted. God will punish sin. We always need to remember that. And I'm going to compare it to the common law because I just, the connections are amazing. There's a common law maxim that says it concerns the commonwealth that crimes do not remain unpunished. We don't believe that in America anymore. We let crimes go all the time. Evil deeds ought not to remain unpunished for impunity affords continual excitement to the delinquent. If you let someone get away and give them impunity for their crimes or their sins, they're going to keep doing it. And this, th these maxims come straight from the scripture. A punishment inflicted on a few causes a dread to all. The scripture says, and all Israel shall hear and fear in relationship to a, to, to a punishment. So in America, we're not doing that. We're letting people, we're, we're, I guess they, the term, we're just slapping them on the wrist and letting them go. We're not giving the harsh penalties that the scripture actually says, which is why America's uh, in the position we're in today. The purpose for punishment is to deter sin. That's the whole point. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. That's the second one. Okay? Sin through ignorance, you're still found guilty, and you pay the sacrifice or the fine. All right. Common law maxim, maxim says ignorance of the law excuses not. All these maxims from the common law you can find in the scripture. It really is amazing. Every man shall be accountable for his own sins. The father shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sins. Common law says no one is to be punished for the crime or wrong of another. God judges, rewards, and punishes every man according to his works. So based on how we behave, how we act, according to that covenant, that contract, that's how God's going to judge us. And God will punish us seven times more if we do not heed his discipline. And even, the Kamala even agrees with that. The increase of punishment should be in proportion to the increase of crime. We don't do that in America either. Punishments are given as judgments. This is given either by the Levitical priesthood or God himself. Here are the punishments for the Levitical priesthood. So I've got 21 punishments that I found in the scripture and they're split up 14 and 7. So try to remember that because we're going to do 14, then we're going to do a lot, and then we're going to come back to the last 7.